This is a demonstration of Open Solver, a free alternative to Excel's built-in solver, taking advantage of open source software such as the CoinRR solvers. My name is Kevin Deere and I am a teaching fellow in the Department of Engineering Science at the University of Auckland. So what is Open Solver? Open Solver is developed by Associate Professor Andrew Mason and students at the Department of Engineering Science at the University of Auckland. It extends Excel's built-in solver with more powerful coin OR solvers. These solvers may be better for certain linear programming and industry programming problems than Excel's built-in solvers, so it gives you more options. More importantly, it does not limit the size of your linear programs to 200 variables like Excel's built-in solver and lets you solve much, much bigger problems. It is compatible with existing solver models. That is, you can take an existing model and solver and it will just work in open solver as well. There is no need to work, rework your models from Excel solver to open solver which makes life easy, and most importantly, it is free and open source. So it is constantly being developed, and there is no proprietary software here. So you can get open solver from the open solver website, which is right here on this slide here. So there's a download and install button here. You'll need to download the zip file, and unzip all the files into a folder for it to work. So let's look at a simple problem that, that will demonstrate some of the ideas of Open Solver. So here's a simple production planning problem. So we have the Mighty Silver Ball Company, which manufactures three kinds of pinball machines, and we have three different manufacturing techniques, each requiring different amounts of labor and testing, and each product yields a different type of profit. We have limits on the total number of hours of labor and testing, and further we have some constraints on the mix of products that need to be produced. So the formulation of this problem is left as an exercise. It is a fairly straightforward linear programming formulation. So let's switch to Excel here. So in Excel here, we have our linear program set up in a fairly classic format that you will find in most introductory operations research and management science textbooks. You'll notice here that we have our variables. We have our three variable cells defined here. We have our objective coefficients and constraint coefficients. Each of these cells here have a sum product which multiplies the relevant coefficient with the variables. And so similarly here, and we have our right hand sides here. So once again, a fairly standard linear programming formulation. So once we have that, we notice in Solver, there's nothing, because we haven't done anything. So to install a consolver, you'll need all the files unzipped so I have a few extra files here that from my own work but what we need to do is run open solver.xlan we run that we, we need to enable macros and we get this open solver panel here under data what we can do is build our model now in a similar way to, as we would in solver so we click on the model button we get this interface, we select our objective cell, which is this one, which we're maximizing. Our variables are these three cells here. Our constraints, we can add one at a time. So let's move the window here. So we have our left-hand side is this cell that is less than or equal to the right-hand side, and that's a constraint. We can also do similar to Solver in that we can add multiple constraints at the same time by doing this. So that there was our left hand sides, here's our right hand sides. Add that. So one greater than the constraint, which we'll add in a similar way. 
and go and construct. So fairly similar to Excel's built and solver here. So we use the default settings here and we save more. Them. So what we have here now is a visualization of how our linear program is set up. So we have our variable cells highlighted, we have objective, we have our constraints. So what we need to do now is simply press solve and we get the result we expect. So we will make 80 of these and 90 of these. And what you'll notice is that in normal solver we actually get the same formulation and if we so we simply say OK, we'll actually get the same results. So yeah, that is good. Another feature of Open Solver is they will also produce sensitivity reports. So if you press the model button and you output sensitivity analysis on a new sheet, you save our model, we solve, and we will get a sensitivity report like the one we get in standard Excel as well. So that is all good. And what else can this do? So let's go to a fresh copy. So you'll notice here that there's nothing in Solver and there's also nothing in Open Solver. This will become important in a second. We know that we have our maximization and our constraint for label. If our linear program is set up in this format and only in this format, what we can do is go to this arrow and click on Quick All To Model. If we click on Quick All To Model, what it does is it formulates our linear program automatically. And if you look at the model, we have our two constraints built in. And our objectives and variable cells discovered on for us. So that's why these cells are very important in Open Solver and that we need to make these explicit. The trick we go in this case is that Open Solver will automatically detect your objective direction if you put a cell with max or min here. So if I change this to a min and I do quick alter model again, that the objective direction will change to minimization. So a issue that we do get is that if you name your constraints min or max here, Open Solver will get a little confused as to where your objective cell is. So that is something to, that you should be aware of. Let's go back. So other Open Solver features. Open Solver can use nonlinear solvers such as Nomad and Bolmi, which are both coin OR nonlinear optimization solvers which may be useful for experimental purposes. And OpenSolver can also interface with Gurobi. So if you have a Gurobi license, this provides a very powerful means to sort of interest programs fairly quickly. So application. So we have seen applications open OpenSolver in container scheduling for a very large global shipping company. We have seen it in maintenance scheduling in industry. We have seen it for shipment batching for Whirlpool or staff schedule in various places and a fairly recent application we have just been made aware of is people using this to manage their fantasy football portfolios. So this has been used fairly well in a variety of contexts. So for larger problems however, open solver might be a bit slow in generating the files required for the solvers to solve your problem. So in these, in these cases, if you still want to stay in Excel, we suggest trying Solver Studio. Solver Studio is also developed by the same team here at Engineering Science at the University of Auckland, and it combines Excel with the power of modern languages such as Ample, Python, GAMS, and Julia, which is a more programming approach to formulating these linear programs However, these will work much faster in terms of formulating these for the solvers to actually solve. So Open Solver is developed by Associate Professor Andrew Mason, Ian Dunning and Jack Dunn, with coding assistance by Kat Gilbert, Matthew Milner, Chris Atkins, Marinja Rebassan, Joshua Dawes, and Jackson Beagle.